<laughs> yeah. That's right. Someone whose username is mathman1024 goes clubbing. Now let's look at this graph right here. Is this guy is this guy a function? So not a function. You say it like there's no way this guy's a function. He's going to so many lines. Toma, if I draw a vertical line right oh snap. Right? I didn't even get to go all the way down here, but this guy is definitely not a function. I don't even think he wanted to be a function. <laughs> now this guy's not a function, and here's the difficult part. Finding the domain in the range. Now, a lot of students will complain, Mr. Craig, how do you know where it stops? Well, look, it's, you see it's kind of creating a pattern here. It keeps getting wider and wider as it's going up and going down, right? So what we're going to assume here is that it maintains that pattern. So if it maintains this pattern of getting wider and wider and wider, what would you say for the domain here? It would be from negative infinity to infinity. It would be all real numbers, right? It's going to take all real numbers in the x to capture everything that's going on here with that picture. What about your range? You see you're going from bottom all the way up to the top without stopping, right? So that's also all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. No, there, there is no beyond. Buzz was screwed up in the head. Because there, there's not beyond infinity. Infinity is not a location. It's a concept used to represent the unboundedness of real numbers, meaning there is no largest real number. It increases without bound, without limits. There's no end. So Buzz trying to go to infinity and or beyond is ludicrous. <laughs> That's why he is a child's plaything. He's a T-O-Y toy. <laughs>